Hello, grade three. How are you? Today we're going to talk to take some information about bat and bat loves the night. The text is narrative nonfiction. Its genre is narrative nonfiction. And narrative nonfiction means when you give information about something and telling true information about something in a form of a story, narrative story, but you're telling true information. So let's start with this baby bat. It's standing or hanging upside down and it's opening its small eyes and twitching its ears, means moving its ears and shaking. It's still young. It's trying to open its wings and fly, but it's too small. Its wings are made from wing, uh, skin and bones. Bones can make the wing stronger. Now, a bat can fly. A bat can use its wings. When it flies, you can hear a sound like an umbrella opening. This is how a bat can fly. Now it's coming out. But what do you think? Bats come out at night or at day? Of course at night because they hate going out at day. It wake up at night and sleeps at day. Now over bushes, under trees, between fence posts and tangled hedge, she swoops and touches. Swoops means to fly down so quickly in order to hunt. Bat is at home in darkness as a fish in the water. She doesn't need to see. She can hear where she's going. So can a bat see? Of course, no, it can't see, but it can hear very well in order to know directions and where is she going. Now a bat shouts as she flies louder than a hammer blow, higher than a squeak. Squeak is the sound of bats. And it's a squeak or voice echoes. Echo means the repetition of sounds in large places. So its sound is it sounds echo. And bat can hear every detail. Bats can hear every detail around it, even the movements of leaves. So they have strong ears. Then when it sees a fat moth here, it takes flight below her. A bat can eat dozens of big moths in a single night or thousands of tiny flies. How can this be important? This can be important in the way that bats are helping us getting rid of bad insects. Because if bats are not here, so insects will take over the world. So bats are important because they get rid of insects. So here the poor, the poor small, Moth is finally eaten and swallowed. Hunting time has run out, so the day comes. So it should fly as quickly as possible to reach a dark place to sleep inside. This is how a bat can live. This dark place can be a cave or a tree, as long as it's dry and safe. Inside there is squeakings, 50 hungry batlings hanging up huddle. So here we're having small bats. They are all making sounds like squeak. They are squeaking and they are asking for food. Their mommy feed them milk because a bat is a mama. So a bat is a mama, so it gives birth and it feed their babies milk. And it takes care for the babies. It may take them out with her when she goes for hunt. So this is how can a mommy bat take care of their babies. 
here it's a snuggling its baby to sleep. So what do you think? Mommy bat is good mommy or bad mommy? Of course, it's a good mommy. It's snuggling its baby to sleep. And here, bad doses with her battling waiting. So doses means feeling asleep. When the tide of night rises again, Bat will wake and plunge into the blackness, shouting, Bat loves night. So when night comes again, what will happen to the Bat? It will wake up again and search for food and hunt for their babies and go back when the day comes. So Bats love night. Here are new vocabularies. First of all, we have the word twitch. And as I told you, twitch means quick movements. We have rabbits, for example, they are twitching their noses or move them quickly to improve their sense of smell. And as well, bats can twitch their ears so quickly in order to enhance their ability to hear. Swoops, a bat quickly swoops down to catch insects. Swoops means to fly down as quickly as possible to hunt. Eagles also swoops, by the way. Squeak is the sound of hamsters, mice, or bats. Eagles is the repetition of sound. In large places like caves or maybe mountains, in large places that have walls. So this is the echo, the repetition of sound. Detail, detail means Additional information about something, for example, or um, description, maybe. You can describe a moth by telling about each detail of its appearance. This is how can we describe details of something. Slathers. Slathers means to move or slides. So the moth was, was slithering in the bat mouth. Snuggles. Snuggles means to hug, to feel warm and comfort. Doses. Doses means the bad doses slightly before falling asleep. To feel a sleepy. To feel sleepy means doze, doses. Thank you so much for good watching and see you next time.